Oh yeah, people. Fish for this. Well, yeah, go full. Cactus team fish. Mm -hmm. I think we'll cook this. I'm this. Get some plum. A lot of people in Jamaica didn't know that this can actually eat. It tastes real good. Boy, oh, people, what are going? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know by now, we have my first restaurant coming up this year, early, early this year, people. Right now, we are doing some renovation on the place. We already get there. The place already. It's gonna be located in downtown, downtown Kingston. So, you can look out for that, people. I know it's a long time, I know I have to try the creative means them. And, and finally, I'm gonna be able to can try them, people. Can't yeah, wait for you to and soon I cut rolling, come support the thing. A lot of thanks to the people who donate to my GoFundMe because. That helps a lot. Even behind the GoFundMe, we still have supporters. I may have respect for doing it. You know, show them contribution. So I really love that. Yeah, the restaurant has come up, people. And finally, I got can taste the creative meals. Jamaica, downtown Kingston. The restaurant is going to name Ramesh Kitchen. The RK restaurant, you know. So this is Creative Cooking Episode 5. Stay tuned and look what go on. Cactus steam fish. Now the normal. Why are you? I can't catch fish, I'm just going to run a roast with you. Yeah, look, we have a stand up for fish. The rest of the team over there, sir. One matter of the right, sir. So, we'll come out, we'll bring no fish. so we bring no fish. So, it's a do or don't for this video. If you're not catching a fish, we have to just go home with hungry belly. So, you know, so we have to catch fish to the people. I heard there's a lot of jackfish in this area. So, let's see how that goes. Yakto steam fish, creative cooking episode 5. Mr. Bell, we are going food today. So right after these people, we are going to catch a fire. We are going to hunt some hood. Around the area, there is a lot of sticks. We are going to hunt some hood and catch the fire. And earlier today, we have one of our supporters come give away some kitchen equipment in terms of gear net, gloves, and them some of the people. So see you there. Check it out. Alright everyone, so we just made a delivery to Mr. De Sousa. So I'm Jonathan Cunningham, I'm a director at K9 Safe Pro. You can find us on Instagram at SafeProJA where we we'll offer all things safety. So that's your hair nets, your gloves, your safety glasses, goggles, etc. You can check us out on Instagram at SafeProJA. Inspect again. Check All your people, check it out. Evidence that people catch fish right there, so you know. This right here, so people, is a sour sap fish, a puff fish. My gosh, what do you can catch all two of them here to the people? Cactus, sour sap fish. My gosh. Who are they? Oh, yeah, people. See him there? I roast them boy with some cactus, people. Oh, yeah, first fish of the day. Yes, sir, Rasta. Now I'm gonna bite over there. Why are you people? They say, why are you people? They say, why are you people? One more fish on the black, see him there? Mm -hmm. Why are you? See him there? Yes, yeah, sir. Why are you people? Fish for days. When you go full, they act as steam fish. Better know what they might do with a booby night. In the water, me hook them back tie. Alright, people, so for the creative cooking. I didn't bring any butter. Just a while ago, and they have no oil, so I'm going to link water over there, so I'll get some oil as well, get some plant. Come on, man. Oh, I'm going to get some more fish, man. You take off my sip for that one. So, watch out. Boy, I pick up where I think that they're gonna you know, push them. You know. Not even want this. Giant just go get a puff fish a while ago. Like. I don't know which buying it from. Look like a somebody game. See there? A small puff fish. Similar to the one I'm that showed earlier, people. First, we see this here. I think we'll cook this here. Eh? Mm -hmm. no. But just see one of our supporters, them said so they have a yield. But look where I'm going. I am this. Yeah. Did I cut him up already? Uh, that's for cleaning up. Oi, oi, people. 
Yes, you watch a YouTube channel. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, nice see day, you know. I'm sleeping there, you know. Why are you sleeping, man? It's slippery. Man. <laughs> it's slippery. It's slippery. Oh, no, sir, you creative, you know, sir. Let me find something for the video. How much I give you this one? No, I just give you an idea. You are giving me? No. Alright, respect. Uh, respect. Why are you? Yes, yeah, so if you man them catch it angry and no one wanted to cook it. So it look like it's for us. It look like they caught it and just have it there waiting for us. That is good. Baby, you got the body when me looking for her. Girl, your attitude match me car. So come through with me that superstar. Taxi sit down, rock down, stay away from her. Dance up in a demand, so make me go and drive it down. And that sick young dance down, go pull down. Put in a demand, so make me go and drive it down. Time for going get the wood them to start catch the fire. Oh, if a fire stick, I don't know. So we do it. If you guys never eat um heal before, it's real good. Like it's real good. The way we are going to do the sea snake, the eel, is one of my favorite ways. We are going to cook it in file paper. File paper, fish is one of the best to my people. I love it. So we are going to need sticks and we are going to need stones. Take off the slime off the eel. For people who just wash off the, the eel. Fire players. Fire again. Yeah, right here, so we have the vegetable. This I get ready. Rings them and cut them up nice and proper. Right here, so we have the nopal cactus. See them here? This we are going to stuff the fish with it. Going with the bell pepper. This is going to be so amazing. Scotch bonnet pepper. Add some spice in there. Onion. First thing we're going to do, people, is cook the nopal cactus. So after we cook the nopal cactus and thing, we are going to get ready the fire paper and the fish. Lastly, the scallion. Thyme leaf. A lot of people in Jamaica didn't know that this can actually eat. It's actually edible and it tastes real good. If you know okra, it tastes a lot like okra. We're going to start by peeling around the sides. What we're doing is removing the spikes and the sorns. So, normally a lot of spikes and sorns are usually around the side of it. We're going to scrape it like this to remove the spikes. Scrape it nice and proper. Just like that. It's best to focus on the smaller leaves like this. This right here is it's really soft and like the bigger ones it, it's usually tough and have a lot of strings in it the bigger leaves are usually stringy I don't want that tell you the truth I mean, just get up and say I cook cactus you know? it's a cooking show I watch one time and I see them I cook cactus it's a Mexican dish you see it? Mexican it's popular over Mexico so you know the nopal cactus full of thorn and spikes so we have to make sure we clean up the area before we prepare the fish right here. So our friend that gave us the glass and the gloves, you see you can check out them Instagram right here. They've made their contribution towards the restaurant. Yeah, so check them out. If you wonder where goggles are doing a restaurant people, just in case the aisle splash up or your chop and bone a fly, goggles can protect you from that hitting you in the eye. We also have to wash the cactus. Cut up the cactus, cut it in a desired size and shape. This right here is like okra. So right here we got the tuna cactus. Oi oi. We can add the vegetables. Nice and proper. Season this baby up. Right here we got some garlic powder. Add that. 
I'm gonna use some jerk seasoning. Just like that. Right here we got some jerk blend. Add that nice and proper. You guys know my style. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Oh yeah. So peeps, stay tuned and look what go on. We're on our way to 100k subscriber. We have a big giveaway at 100k subscriber people. So subscribe to the channel and look what go on. See it there? Cactus. So right here we got some cooking oil. I'm gonna add that. Cook this for the next 15 minutes. So we're gonna cover it and make it steam. We're gonna turn down the fire a bit. Turn down the fire. I don't want it to burn. See him there? We call this baby Kangri. So we saw you already rub him in the dirt and get off the slime. So right now we're not slimy like how we did slimy at first. Oh yeah, love this. Looks so amazing. And if you're familiar with them fisher peeps, you know say the skin is sick. Skin is kinda thick. Watch it. First time cooking this fish people, but I've eaten it before. Get out the belly. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Wash out the inside, nice and proper. Look at that. This fish is beautiful, people. This right here is a beautiful fish. I love this. We are eating snake, sea snake. We got our snake right here. We're gonna cut it in our desired size. Kiakto steam snake. Mm. Oh, yeah, people. How much are we? Five away. Cut it up nice and proper. We also have two other fish over here. Clappers. Yeah, and happy new year people. Happy 2023. And I love these fish people. Them full of meat. I love them. They're amazing. One thing, they have a lot of small bones. Cactus ready. Put this aside right here. I'm gonna season this with some fajita seasoning. Nice and proper. Also, I got some jerk blend. I'm just rub it on these fish nice and proper piece. Usually, I would use the, the butter to grease the foil. But substitute for that, today is going to be cooking oil. I didn't bring any butter. We are greasy nice and proper like this people and the reason why we grease it because we are trying to avoid the fish getting stick to the, to the foil paper you can put this right here so it in not blow we are trying to avoid the foil paper being blowing apply the sea snake right there and we are going to get the cactus and stuff it like that Oh yeah, people. Now we're gonna fold it up, people. Nice and proper. Fold it like this. Oh yeah. So people, stay tuned and look what go on. This is going to be so amazing. Some cactus steam fish. Yeah. Creative cooking episode five. Fish them right here. I put them on it nice and proper. I make them roast. Just like that. And actually people, we're making roast fish. Pile paper roast fish. Some people still call it steam fish, but the right term to put it, it's roast fish. We're roasting it in the file paper. Inside of the file paper, the steam. Oh yeah, this is amazing. So right here we got the plant. So we get the plant from a fellow fisherman nearby. Look like him live over here, people. So everything looking lovely. Oh yeah. Now let's follow me on every other platform except subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I need to subscribe now. Oi, oi. This is going to be so amazing. The people, it smells so good. My gosh. Fish them, steam in the five paper. Just flip them, nice and proper. It's been about eight minutes right now on one side. We are getting about eight minutes on the next side. Five paper, them hot people, super hot. Flip it. Flip it, people. Oi, oi. So this smells so amazing. It smells so good. Look at that. Why I see the people? Why I watch it? Lovely. Just look at that. Oi oi See them? Kangri, season of them people Thanks man This is going to be so amazing See that? Mm -hmm. One thing with the sea snake boat people It has a lot of small bones And the bones are all over in the meat It's a little bit of fish, a little bit of plant A little bit of cactus The combination is just good people I love this. Love everything here. Matter over this one. A lot of Mexican people love the cactus. It's almost like their national dish. They love it. First time one matter I eat the snake, you know. The snake tastes one matter. It's good. As we're about to say, you know, you have to watch out for bone them. You have to watch out for bone them. Everything is so amazing. Subscribe to our channel. We're on our way to 100k subscriber. Big giveaway at a, at a 100k. As I said people, subscribe to each channel, we're on our way to 100 k subscriber, big giveaway at 100k, you know, I have my first restaurant coming up in downtown, so you guys can look out for it, you know, so just have a good time, i see you guys in my next video, oi oi, I didn't bring any butter, so uh, I just send the little ones to check a house nearby, See if they get any. I won't forget butter. What I was going to use the butter for though is to apply the butter and the foil paper, apply the butter and the foil and put the fish in it. So the butter would prevent this fish from sticking to the foil paper while we are roasting it. But Let's see how this goes. We're just going with the flow. Oi, oi. You know, my belly has got full today. I'm just. Should I bring some butter? 